We are here at Electronica 2024 in Munich, and this is the Nordic Semiconductor Stand. Now, we talked just recently in the last couple of weeks on the Electromaker Show about the NRF 54L15, which is quite an exciting chip, I think, for various different makers and various different people across the industry, because it's basically the step-in for the NRF 52 series. Now, the NRF 52 is a much-loved chip because it does a lot with a very low power draw, and it also shows up in a few maker boards like uh, NR, uh, the Zhao series and Arduino series. And I'm here to talk to Pavel about the NRF 54. Now, the first thing, and I want to get this out of the way straight away, today is the official release. We now have the NRF 54L, the development kits are going to be available, and as far as I understand, Thursday is the day that the, all of the software and things are going to be available. It's actually happening, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Today we announced and launched the entire NRF 54L series with L15, yeah. which has been announced before, and two smaller va variants, L10 and L05. And, uh, and when we're talking about smaller variants, so we'll, we'll get a, a zoomed-in version of this right now. Um, on the wall just next to me here, there's a chip which is significantly smaller than half of my fingernail. But then next to it, there's something that I didn't even realize was an electronic component. And this is, yeah, you'll see in the zoom-in. This, uh, this is absurd. What's yeah. the, uh, what is that one? <laughs> uh, so we have two package variants for L15, yeah. uh, QFN and CSP. Yep. And L L10 and L05 are available in QFN. Absolutely. Um, but I think one of the things that uh, many people are going to be very interested in yeah. is um, the performance of the NRF 54L series compared to the NRF 52 series. Because the 52 series was known for having a very low power draw, but still a lot of capability for doing various tasks, connectivity and onboard uh, computation as well. And um, what are we looking at here? Because I see you have a 5040K here and a 52. Yeah, so what we're looking at here is the demonstration for Bluetooth. The, which is the most common use case for these products. Yeah. And here we have Bluetooth LE advertising mm -hmm. at 30 milliseconds. Mm -hmm. And what we see here that is that 54L yeah. has lower peak current mm -hmm. and significantly lower average current, yeah. uh, differing from 150 to 250 microamps. Mm -hmm. sure. So we have a few more advertising intervals that okay. also show this improvement. Mm -hmm. We also have a Bluetooth Valley connection running at two megabytes, uh, two megabits phi. Uh -huh. So, and we can switch between the data throughput depending on the application needs. Yep. Now we are sending sending 50 kilobit, kilobytes per second. Mm -hmm. And the, the difference is around 30% on favor of 54L, of course. So that directly translates to longer battery life yeah. after upgrading from 52 to 54. Absolutely. And in terms of performance, we have a demo of processing power. Mm -hmm. So here you can see that 54L completes the task in half the time, yep. at lower average current, and third of energy. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is one of the things that is, is, is key and very exciting because yeah. um, the Bluetooth low energy, I mean, the, the clue is somewhat in the name. It's Bluetooth, but using a much lower uh, power footprint. But um, the, the, the computational side of things, being able to achieve so much more with a lower power draw, I think, is something that people are going to be very excited about, whether it's in their own personal projects or the way these things are going to worm their way into consumer items, which are going to obviously mean more powerful things with longer battery lives. But obviously, from our perspective, uh, you know, we are making these videos for people who are interested in the industry, yes, but want to make things themselves. Now, um, if someone got their hands on either an NRF 52 or an NRF 54 development kit today and they wanted to get started with it, Nordic doesn't just supply the hardware, right? You have uh, uh, tools, not only the tools to actually create things, but ways to learn how to create things as well, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, the way to go, the way to start is Development Academy. Mm -hmm. We have a few courses there, uh, NRF Connect Fundamentals, yeah. when you learn how to install and uh, run the tools debug and uh, work with the software in general mm -hmm. with our tool set yep. and Bluetooth Valley uh, fundamentals course mm -hmm. where you learn how to run Blinky mm -hmm. with a mobile app. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, and, that, and that's the, the kind of beauty of it, because um, uh, with the uh, NRF Connect SDK, it's obviously very powerful, it's something that can be used throughout the industry, but the idea here is that you can get up and running very quickly without having necessarily to understand every element of it, but it gives you the groundwork to get started and get something working very quickly, which is super important. I guess my final question would just be, if anyone now is looking to get their hands on one of the new dev kits or get started with Nordic stuff today, where would they go to try and find themselves a dev kit to get started with? Uh, it's best to go to our product page, mm -hmm. nrf. Uh, uh, nordicsemiconductor.com slash nrf54l15 mm -hmm. and then it's an 
uh, widget mm -hmm. with the list of distributors who have the DKs on stock. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and uh, as always with these videos, you will find links to all of this underneath the video. There'll also be a accompanying blog post to this, which will link out to everything that we have just talked about. Um, but yeah, uh, this is, is super exciting. As I mentioned a couple of weeks ago when I first mentioned the NRF 54L series, um, this is the one that I think a lot of people are quite excited about. More processing power using less power draw is something that everyone's always very excited about. Pavel, thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.